of Father Joseph McShane, the Associate Pastor at St. Louis. And welcome to our, our continued show on movie reviews with Father Joseph. Today we're going to be looking at one of my personal favorite movies, The Song of Bernadette, which is a faith-inspired, inspiring 1944 drama film based on the 1941 novel of the same name by Franz Wilfeld. It stars Jennifer Jones in the title role, which portrays the story of St. Bernadette Subaru, who experienced 18 visions of the Blessed Virgin Mary from February 11th to July 1858, and was later canonized in 1933. The film was directed by Henry King from a screenplay written by George Seaton. The novel was extremely popular, spending more than a year on the New York Times bestseller list and 13 weeks heading, heading the list. The story was also turned into a Broadway play, which opened in New York in Ma March 1946. Franz Wolfeld, the author, came from a Jewish family in Prague. His governess was Catholic and would often take him to Mass. He also was educated at a Catholic school in Prague. Wolfeld was forced to leave Prague in 1938 with the oncoming of World War II for France. He narrowly escaped the Nazi regime in Marcel and found shelter in Lourdes. He received much help from Catholics who staffed the shrine. He vowed that if he made it to America, he would make known the story of St. Bernadette, which he did in 1941, calling it the Song of Bernadette. The film was a great success, both critically and financially. The Song of Bernadette won, won four Oscars in the 1944 Academy Awards. Best Actress in a Leading Role went to Jennifer Jones, who portrayed Bernadette, it also won Best Art Direction, Best Cinematography for Black and White Film, Best Music Scoring. In addition, the film was nominated for a further eight categories at the Academy Awards for Best Actor, two Best Actresses in a Supporting Role, Best Director, Best Film, Best Film Editing, Best Sound, and, uh, and Best Winning Screenplay. In the first Golden Globe Awards in 1944, the film won three awards. It won Best Motion Picture, and uh, Best Motion Picture Drama and best, best Actress for Jennifer Jones. The movie opens with the words, For those who believe in God, no explanation is necessary. For those who do not believe in God, no explanation is possible. This quote is a foreshadowing of what is to follow in the movie with those with faith and those without faith. The movie is about the apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Bernadette Subaru, and the events that took place until her death. It is a fairly accurate film, though there are moments of artistic license. The movie starts in the early morning hours in the Subaru family home, which was actually the former jail of Lourdes. It was thought to be too derelict for criminals, but the Subaru family was very poor, and this was all they could afford. Francois Subaru, Bernadette's father, must go out daily to find work. He had lost his family business of milling flour and now must try to find work each day with odd jobs to support the family. He is hired on this particular day to bring garbage from the hospital to the village dump, which is actually near the grotto where Our Lady appeared. We next are in the local Catholic school, where students are being examined by Sister Marie-Thérèse Bazou. Bernadette, in reality, was a poor student and found it very difficult to study. When she can't answer what is the Holy Trinity, she is humiliated by Sister Marie Therese and made to go to the head of the class. Bernadette's sister, Marie, explains that Bernadette has asthma, which keeps her out of class frequently. Returning home from school with her sister Marie and friend Jean, who will help her in her studies, the three, the three offered to go look for firewood in the woods near the grotto. Bernadette's mother at the same time is called upon by her neighbor, Quasine, to help with her ailing son who is crippled from birth. The scene of the first apparition is masterly, masterfully achieved with music, lighting, and wind effects. Marie and Jean cross the river to look for wood as Bernadette re remains behind. She is drawn to the grotto where the Virgin Mary appears to her in radiant light. Bernadette kneels as Our Lady greets her as she motions to Bernadette to pray the rosary. From this scene, you can understand why Jennifer Jones received the Best Actress at the Oscars as her face is transformed by the heavenly vision of the Lady, as Bernadette would call her. 
Bernadette encountered skepticism from her family, members of the church, including the parish priest and Sister Marie Therese, and the civic authorities. Even when Bernadette is threatened with going to jail, she vows to keep her promise to the lady by going to the grotto, who will not change her account of the vision. She is primarily persecuted by Vital de Tour, the imperial prosecutor who is played by the famous actor Vincent Price. Her Aunt Bernard defends Bernadette and tells the family they must stand with her and go to the grotto with her as well. When the lady tells Bernadette to bring a message to the parish priest, Father Pierre Maral, who is played by Charles Bickford, he asks Bernadette to ask the lady for a sign, and he requests that Our Lady would make the wild rose bush growing in the grotto to bloom. Bernadette does this. The day of the miracle is a very important scene in the movie. Many have gathered to witness the miracle, including civil authorities. The lady instructs Bernadette to go wash in the spring, which is not the river as Bernadette first thinks, when Our Lady says not the river, and corrects her and asks her to also eat of the herbs. Bernadette does as the lady instructs and digs into the earth, attempting to wash herself with a moistened soil. The crowd ridicules Bernadette as she is taken away by her family. Staying behind are Antoine Niccolo, who is disheartened by the events, and a stonemason. Stone Antoine discovers a running stream which is now flowing from where Bernadette had dug the hole and tries to call the people back as the stonemason, who is blind in one eye, applies the water to his eyes, which results in a miracle. The next scene is actually an accurate account of the first miracle of Lourdes, when Cloisine takes her crippled, deceased child to the grotto and places his lifeless body in the water, which now the stone masons have built with a bath, the child begins to move and to cry. This is the first miracle of Lourdes, and the boy who was healed, eventually, in, in reality, he became a priest. News of the miracle spreads. People begin to believe Bernadette, and the news also brings many pilgrims to Lourdes, especially the sick seeking cures. The last apparition, the lady finally reveals to Bernadette her name. Though Bernadette tells her mother and Aunt Bernard, she doesn't know what it means when the lady said, I am the Immaculate Conception. This moment creates a sense of awe and wonder, as the dogma of the Immaculate Conception was formally declared only in 1854, and the apparition happened in 1858, four years later. Father Pierre Mayal attempts to explain to Bernadette the meaning of the words Immaculate Conception. Father also asks the bishop to open a council to verify the events at Lourdes, but, but the bishop agrees only if the grotto is opened. He leaves it in the hands of the lady to see, if, to, see to it that the grotto is open. He says, if it is the Virgin, Nothing will stop her. This is because the atheistic anti-church civil authorities had closed the grotto and make it a crime for anyone to take water from the spring. This is true. It actually happened. The authorities boarded up the area around the grotto to prevent anyone from, take, anyone from taking the water. But people of faith still managed to get through. Now this scene that follows in the courtroom is also historically accurate. People who took water from the grotto were tried, fined, or sent to jail. Then there is a person of very high office, the wife of Admiral Barot, who is the governess of the son of Napoleon III, the Prince Imperial. She had been sent to Lourdes by the Empress Eugenie, who was a very devout Catholic and wanted the water for her son who was ill. When Madame Barot is told she must pay a fine, she also pays the fines for all the other people being charged with taking water from the grotto but then requests the water be returned to her. When the official refuses, she tells them she was sent by the Empress Eugenie, who will request the water. The official concedes, knowing that they will soon face consequences for their actions. The Empress intercedes with, the, with her husband, Emperor Napoleon III, to remove the restrictions placed on the grotto. The decree that Napoleon III issued remains to this day, which states the grotto belongs to the Catholic Church and the faithful must have access to the grotto 24 hours a day. To this day, there is a gate at Lourdes where the faithful may enter any time, day or night, which is above the Voto candle, candle, candle Lane. With the grotto opened, the bishop opens the commission to study the supernatural events at Lourdes, 
which includes intense interrogation of Bernadette and her family. In the end, the commission recognizes the supernatural origin of the events at Lourdes, and the apparitions were approved on January 18, 1862, by the Bishop of by Bishop Bertrand Lawrence of the Diocese of Tarbes. We then follow Bernadette as she enters religious life and will travel to enter the convent at Nevers. Before doing so, Bernadette says goodbye to her parents. This is a very moving scene and historically accurate because this was the last time Bernadette embraced her parents on earth as she did not see them again for the rest of her life. As the carriage leaves Lourdes and enters the country roads, Antoine is waiting for Bernadette to say goodbye. The movie tries to portray a romantic relationship between the two, which, is in, which in fact never existed. They were only friends. Bernadette had always desired to enter religious life, and it, and it is true that Antoine never married and was very much dedicated to the grotto at Lourdes, but there was really no romantic relationship between the two. Bernadette arrives at the convent of the mother house of the Sisters of Charity in Nevers, where the mother superior questions Bernadette about her place in the convent and what duties she will be assigned. Sister Marie Therese Vizou enters the room, who is the mistress of novices, who is always very cold to Bernadette. She requests that, uh, to, that to avoid any worldly prestige or favoritism, Bernadette have her name changed, which becomes Sister Marie Bernard after her godmother. Sister Marie Therese often tests Bernadette in her duties and believes that she is seeking attention when she is limping. Sister Marie Therese, in reality, did not have a liking to Bernadette. She was very cold to her and did not believe the apparitions, the Bernadette's accounts of the apparitions. St. Bernadette saw the Blessed Virgin Mary. She says she doesn't believe Bernadette because she never suffered. In one of the most memorable lines of the movie, Sister Marie Therese states, I know what it is to suffer. Look at my eyes. They burn like the fires of hell. Why? Because they need sleep. They need rest, which I will, not, I will not give them. My throat is parched from constant prayer. My hands are gnawed in serving God in humiliation. My body is pain wrecked from stone floors. Yes, I have suffered, for I know it is the only true road to heaven. And if I who have tortured myself cannot glimpse the Blessed Virgin, how can you who have never felt pain dare to say you have seen her? Bernadette, to help Sister Marie Therese in her doubts, reveals to her the cause of her limping. When Sister Marie Therese sees Bernadette's leg, she looks in horror. The doctor is called and reveals to the mother superior and Sister Therese, Marie Therese that in addition to the large tumor on the knee, Bernadette has tuberculosis of the bone and that the constant pain and suffering from the disease is too horrible to describe, though Bernadette never complained of it. Sister Mar Marie Therese goes to the chapel to implore God's mercy upon her for having doubt of Bernadette and for the way she treated her with hate and envy. She makes a promise to serve Bernadette for the rest of her life. While at sewing with the sisters, when the mother superior suggests that Bernadette make a trip to Lourdes, Bernadette replies that it's not possible, that the spring is not for her. She then repeats what Our Lady said to her at the first apparition, I cannot promise you happiness in this world, only the next. These words are true to what the Blessed Virgin Mary said to Bernadette the first time she appeared to her. Bernadette, Bernadette seems to faint, and it is recognized that Bernadette is near the end of her life. Once more, Bernadette is asked to give the bishop a final confirmation of the events that unfolded on February 11, 1858. Bernadette is overcome with emotion, using all her strength to testify that she did see the Virgin Mary. Father Pirmao echoes the beginning of the film when the civil authorities continue to doubt the apparitions at Lourdes, saying, Those who believe in God, no explanation is necessary. Those who do not believe in God, no explanation will suffice. The young boy of the first miracle is again seen, giving Father Pirmao a message. In reality, as I mentioned, this young boy became a priest. Though Father Piramal was not with Bernadette when she died, as the film portrays, he was always supportive of her, and we can be sure Our Lady welcomed Bernadette into heaven. Bernadette died at the convent at Nevers on April 16, 1879, sitting in a chair. Her final words were, as is portrayed in the film, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for me, a poor sinner, a poor sinner. The Blessed Virgin appeared to Bernadette at the end of the film, 
as Bernadette says, I love you, I love you, and then falls back on the pillow, having left earth for heaven. At the very end of the film, there is a picture of the interior of St. Peter's Basilica, lit with many candles. This picture was taken at the canonization of St. Bernadette by Pope Pius XI on December 8, 1933, the feast day of the Immaculate Conception. The Song of Bernadette is a beautiful film that is inspiring both in faith and devotion to our Blessed Mother, as well as artistic excellence. In the film, as the film won Best Oscar for Cinematography, it also winning over Casablanca, among others. As mentioned, Jennifer Jones won the Oscar for Best Actress as Bernadette, winning over, among other actresses, Ingrid Bergman and Joan Fontaine. It was nominated for an Oscar for Best Film, but the winner, winner that year was Casablanca. The Song of Bernadette also won the very first Best Film for the Golden Globe Awards in 1944. The movie poster for The Song of Bernadette was painted and designed by the famous American artist Norman Rockwell, known, known for his paintings of American life. The Song of Bernadette is one of my personal favorite movies, and no matter how many times I have seen it or watched it, since my childhood, it still inspires me in so many ways. The Shrine of Our Lady of Lourdes in France is now one of the most beloved and famous shrine, Marian shrines in the world. Six million people visit the shrine every year and can touch the grotto where the Blessed Virgin appeared to St. Bernadette and drink water from the spring that was directly made known by the Blessed Virgin Mary. People can also immerse, be immersed in the water of the grotto in special baths at the shrine. The body of St. Bernadette is incorrupt and is in a glass case at the Mother House of the Sisters of Charity and Lords. May we not be discouraged in trials and sufferings. Our Blessed Mother is always with us. She is the key and path to our eternal home in heaven. May she, may she who is the Immaculate Conception watch over us always. The Song of Bernadette is available to rent or purchase on YouTube and is available on DVD in various outlets. I thank you for having joined me in this movie review of the Song of Bernadette, and I hope that it will inspire you and your family with love and devotion to Mary, our mother. God bless you all.